everybody how's it going in this video we are going to flash an unofficial bios mod on this triple epc laptop to enable 64-bit support as you can see on the screen the cpu model is n2600 which supports 64-bit instruction set but asus being a little batch here they disable 64-bit support at the BIOS level, meaning that I cannot load any 64-bit operating system. I have already uh, installed OpenBSD 7.1, a 32-bit version works fine. Also, I'm running Debian in parallel with it, but as a sort of like a FU sign to ASUS, I really want to enable 64-bit capability on this laptop so i can install 64-bit version of openbsd a bit of background about this laptop i have picked this one up for a very cheap price and it came with original box as well as the bag as you can see it's here and it is almost unused there is no sign of wear and tear on this one and the battery surprisingly lasts around six hours even without any sort of optimization. The only regret I have about this one is that I didn't check whether I can upgrade the RAM or no, and it turns out that the RAM is not upgradable. But for my use case, which is listening to music and listening to online radios should be good enough because also I'm not planning to run any sort of GUI. The main plan is to install the barebone openbsd 64-bit version and install needed application connect to my samba server stream music from there and then listen to the online radios let's get to it so the first thing is go to the bios and there is a section called a start easy flash so when we go here it shows the current bios version as you can see is 1101 and the platform which is the exact laptop model is 1015cx i managed to find the unofficial bios mod for this one and we are going to flash that one and that unofficial bios mod is also based on 1101 version the original bios version on this laptop was 0601 and i just didn't want to jump from 0601 to 1101 on official so I upgraded it to 1101 official which still doesn't support 64-bit operating systems now we are going actually to flash the 1101 on official that is supposed to actually enable 64-bit capability on this laptop so this is the unofficial mod if you want to do that do it at your own risk because i'm not even sure whether this uh, upgrade would be successful or no we have to wait and see and also uh, in my hand i have 64-bit version of poppy linux which we are going to try after this Alright, the update process is done, now we have to press enter and then wait uh, for the reboot. After that I need to plug another flash drive here. So first I reboot it and then I go to the BIOS to ensure that at least nothing is broken. And then I'm going to plug the new flash drive and reboot it once again. All right, at least we see the Asus logo, everything seems fine. Now I'm going to actually add the new flash drive here, reboot it once again so the system can detect it. Let's go here, change the boot order as well here. All right, save it, see whether it is going to load 64-bit version of Poppy Linux or no.
Right, it seems successfully loaded. Let me open the console so we can do view name dash a and as you can see 64 bit poppy linux is loaded that's all for this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel have a great time cheers